Well, you asked for it, everybody. There they are. There they are. Farmer Speed Truckers Ball. Yeah. Amazing. Gap down on a walk. This is awesome. Fantastic. Look at the love, everyone. This is unity right here. Justin Trudeau tore a flag in half over the last six years, two especially, and it's these farmers and these truckers that have put that flag back together again. They're uniting Canada, they're uniting the world, and it's done in peace. There's, no, there's nothing going on down here but fun, unity, and love. When you see a farmer, make sure you thank them for their hard work. Because they're here tonight representing you, representing Canada, representing the world. Amazing. We're not even angry yet. Why don't we get angry? Uh, I have been telling you I grew up in Poland. And in 1980, Polish people got angry. And I saw the police officers running for their lives. The very people that were enslaving the population, the very people that were doing this great evil to Poles were on the run. They were so terrified. I will never forget that. Because there is more of us than of them, and they crossed the line. If I was a politician, I would either resign now while you still can, because we're coming after you. And I'm not talking about the guns and the swords. I'm talking about justice. Real judges, real courts, the court of the people. Just like it was done under the Solidarity Movement in Poland. We are at um, Parliament House and we're here to make the arrest now. So the police are on their way to speak to us. We've asked to speak to a sergeant. So we're happy for you to have your voices heard. No, we're here to make sure. You got to say? It's not a protest. It's not a protest. So what we need to do? Chief, we're here to execute warrants. No, we're actually here to make these arrests. We're not leaving. We're not walking that way. We're actually here to make these arrests because. We've come on to the, peop the police to ask for support and help. We have served all legal notices under common law, which is established by the High Court decision of Lane and Morrison, 2009, which establishes our right to form a common law assembly and convene a court. Six to nine year olds died in their mother's arms 30 minutes after the jab. I'm a mother and I got double jabbed and I lost my baby because of it. Men and women in uniform. Today, we remember Kudos Arena where they prohibited parents from entering to have their children jabbed. Three children died that day. Three. This wasn't reported anywhere. This property. Now we're here today because there are arrest warrants. Do you know what's happening at the moment? I'm not aware. You're not aware? Okay, so there's actually been international common law courts that have found politicians, Don Perrottet, Scott Morrison, guilty of crimes of treason. Okay, they've been um, humans, uh, sorry, crimes against humanity and many more. There's 66 crimes. Now we have gone and served police stations all over every state and territory. We've just come from Surrey Hills Police Station to have been told that the police aren't going to stand with the people when there's a lawful arrest warrant. Do you have kids, sir? No, I don't. Okay, do, are you worried about your future generations and what's happening here in Australia at the moment? Because I certainly am. 
I'm worried about my child and I'm here today, I'm a mother. I'm double jabbed, but guess what? I lost my baby because of it, okay? And now we're here because we're making these arrests today. This needs to stop. This needs to stop what's happening to our families, to our, to our, to our children. It needs to stop. Please stand with us today. Yeah, look, I'm not disagreeing with you, but we're just here to do a job. And then I know, but your job, but, but what job are you doing? Are you here to protect us? Or are you here to protect these politicians who are pedophiles? by the International Common Law Courts and they need to go down. We're here to take, to take out our human rights and our Magna Carta rights and go and arrest them because you're not doing it. I came from the great time in a dusty red so plain and you gave me a white car keep her out of the I stood upon a rocky shore I watched the cold ships come forty thousand years I Came on a prison ship, bound down by a chain. I worked the land, I pulled the lash, I waited for the rains. I'm a settler, I'm a farmer's wife, I'm a long and narrow run. A convict, then a free man. A convict, then a free man. A convict, then a free man. I am a stranger. Brad Hazard, we're calling you out. Come out here and face the people. Stop being a coward and hiding behind these paid mercenaries that we call our police force. Come outside, you coward. Brad Hazard, come and face the people. Well, good day everyone. Uh, just an update. Uh, we're here at the uh, City Police Station at Canberra and I'm here with uh, my good friend Tony Nicolick, uh, who uh, will likely be the next member for Werriwa and the next Attorney General, hopefully. I'm also here with Dave Kotsios, uh, who's 44 years, as an intensive care paramedic with New Wales Ambulance, sacked on the 15th of December, absolute disgrace. And another friend of mine, Gordon McKinney, uh, who's a uh, paramedic at Wagga, uh, is also uh, likely to be sacked at some point in time, along with the rest of us. We're at the city of Canberra police station, and Tony, what's happening here? Just what's happening here? A whole group of witnesses have come before the uh, city police station and lodged um, some uh, paperwork with respect to allegations and charges. Especially against some of the sitting politicians, obviously, we were here as witnesses, so that was the capacity upon which we were in. Um, with any luck now, we've got Senior Constable uh, Tim Stevens, who has uh, agreed to accept the paperwork and uh, lodge a, um, an event number of um, The investigation will start and let it go from there. How yeah, good that? Fantastic. Eat a dog! 